Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? Hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. So if you're taking time out of your day to watch this video, I do appreciate it very much. There's content every day. This is how it is. I made this video the night before, so um, I did not make this on the day of Thanksgiving. I literally got home, made this video, scheduled it for today, and I hope you guys do enjoy. I think there's some important things to talk about. If you stick around, I do appreciate it so much. Enjoy your holiday, guys. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you and your family. Here are the updates. What is going on, guys? Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. So there is something very important that we have to go over, and I think it has something to do with the coaching staff and Nick Sirianni. Um, I don't know if it was Nick or it was, uh, you know, uh, if this was a Lurie, Howie Roseman situation. Obviously, I think it's more Nick because the Eagles have hired Marcus Brady. Now, Marcus Brady is was the Colts' offensive coordinator, okay? Um this, this is a, he was fired a week before, a week or two before Frank Reich was fired. Okay. Now, Marcus Brady was a quarterback coach when Sirianni was the offensive coordinator. Once Sirianni left for the Eagles, he became Frank Reich's uh, offensive coordinator. Okay. Um, I don't know what he's done before that. I have no idea if he's been in a defensive si you know, a system or he's been a de a defensive coach. I, I have no, no idea what's going on. So, Marcus Brady has been hired as a special consultant. What the hell does that mean? Okay, special. How special is he? Is he going to help us? <laughs> like, that's all I got to ask. Is he going to? If he's that special, is he going to help us? Or is he? Never mind. But the Eagles have hired former Indianapolis Colts Marcus Brady as special consultant. Okay, so according to Tim McManus, okay, hear this. Brady is now reportedly working with the Eagles def defense. And defensive coordinator Jonathan Gannon, per the report, with the goal of providing an offensive perspective to their defensive scheme. What the fuck does that even mean? I'm trying to figure this out. Um, working with Jonathan Gannon with the goal of providing an offensive perspective in their defensive scheme. So I'm guessing whatever the offense is... I don't know. I don't. I don't even know what this means. I'm guessing from what I could kind of read it and just just react to it. I guess it means whatever the offense is showing. Um, I guess you have to, you know, change. I mean, you know, the situation that you're in defensively. I mean, I. I mean, I don't even know. I, I don't even know. Somebody in the comment section is probably gonna know this in two seconds. Me, I'm I'm stu stu not, so I don't know what's going on. Um, but that is, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I mean. That's pretty much it. I mean, I don't. I don't know. This is for this is for help for Jonathan Gannon. This is Gannon help. This is. I mean, Vic Fangio is here. Like, what's going on with him? Like, I thought he was the big right hand man consultant helping this Eagles defense, and you know, I thought that was like the answer to all our prayers. But they bring in this guy and Marcus Brady that obviously Nick has worked with, obviously because he was a quarterback coach from 2018 to 2020. Okay, and, and while Nick was the offensive coordinator, and then Marcus Brady took over as offensive coordinator, he gets fired, um, and then Reich, Frank Reich gets fired a week later. So now he's taking a lot of the Colts. We have a lot of Colts coaches, um, you know, in our for our offensive scheme. A lot of guys that worked with Nick over the years, whether it was with the Chargers or with the Colts. There's a lot of guys that have worked. So um, to, to for the Eagles bringing in this guy to – help Gannon I have no idea I have no idea what he's even doing even reading that I I don't I have to go to a specialist and go to therapy after reading that damn thing because I have I have no idea what it means um but if it's help for this defense it's not a bad thing maybe there have been talks this week maybe there ha actually have been talks you know we were kind of thinking you know Howie Roseman makes these moves for Adamican Sue and Linval Joseph, and then all of a sudden, like, Gannon has a really good game and blitzes a lot. Corner blitz, linebackers. I mean, he blitzed a lot, um, more than six times. I mean, it was, it was it was actually kind of amazing, to be honest with you. Um, but I think this is going to be more of a giving an offense a, a surprise blitz or, I guess... 
I don't know. I, I'm I'm trying to figure it out. I'm getting a headache. <laughs> so um, at least this is help for for Jonathan Gannon uh, and with. And obviously, all these guys know each other because obviously Jonathan Gannon was the cornerback coach. He was a cornerback coach with the with the Colts before uh, you know he came to Philadelphia as the first time defensive coordinator last year. So there's a lot of uh, familiarity, and you know these guys are very close and they know each other really well. Like like I said before, um, so this is obviously a a defense move. When I saw him, I was like, oh yeah, he was the offensive coordinator, but this is for defense. So. Um, I guess because he knows, uh, I guess because he just reads a lot of teams, um, in the league and can read offenses and maybe, you know, he can, uh, tell Gannon how to adapt to certain search situations that offenses are showing you, I guess. I, I, I mean, that's as close as I can really get to the reason why, um, this is happening, but look, I can't complain if you're trying to give Gannon help. Why not? There must have been talks this week. Something must have happened in um, not a bad anything bad happening, but Gannon was, you know, especially after a good game. And now you're getting more help and more of a pair of eyes to help Gannon. Um, so maybe this defense turns around even more because really, as of right now, the turning point of this team is going to be this defense. And I think I think the offense is going to play well, but I think the defense is now going to stay on a, you know, a good course right now. And um and that's it. Stay consistent. I think that's all you really got to worry about. Um, second, Adamic and Sue. Um, you know, uh, Sue has been uh, a little bit more vocal this week. You know, he's been talking about Aaron Rodgers and wanting to get after him this week. Obviously, when he was drafted by the Lions, you know, they were in the same division. So he's went after Aaron Rodgers a million times, um, you know, and kind of said some things about, you know, uh, he, you know, Gannett, you know, he, you know, uh, Rodgers will run away from you when you're about to sack him. He'll throw the ball out of bounds and he'll smile in your face. And uh, so, you don't, so you can't get the sack. And I mean, he was just like, he, he wants a piece of Aaron Rodgers. Like, I, he's like, he's, I've always had this, you know, we've, I've always had this against the Packers. That's just how I feel. Like, it doesn't matter if I'm on the Eagles. I, I don't matter what team I'd be on. Um, you know, I don't like the Packers and I don't know if it's an Aaron Rodgers thing or he just doesn't like the Packers. I have no idea. Uh, but the Eagles want a piece of them. The Dominican Sioux definitely wants a piece of them. And I got to say, man, it, it's been a breath of fresh air having a Dominican Sioux here. It's, it's, a, it's a new set of eyes. It's a new player inside. Um, and he just brings a nastiness ability. Um, his attitude, his swag, his just, he's just got this pushback mentality, which I just, I just love it, and um, I think that's it's starting to it's starting to just really help all the guys out. Because even last game against the Colts, man, like that defense was chirping. Our defense was talking smack the whole entire game. I'm looking at Chauncey. Chauncey's not. I know Chauncey talks crap all the time, but I was seeing a lot of players be a little chirpy and just have a little bit more finesse uh, to them, which I thought it was pretty cool. But um, I I'm loving this, man. I love you know, and he's not he's not like he's not calling them out or giving them you know. Uh, you know, giving him built and board material or anything like that. He just he just doesn't like Aaron Rodgers. You know, what I mean, it is what it is. I think that's the main thing. He just doesn't like him. And just his attitude and uh, kind of wants to shut him up. So I hope that happens. I hope that does happen. But uh, Adama Kinsu has been just a breath, like I said, a breath of fresh air. Couldn't be any happier. Now, lastly, I want to talk about is the Saints pick. God damn it. Okay, before I explode. Okay. So the Saints did win against the Rams. Damn it, you Rams. You guys are horrible, man. Horrible. God, they're horrible. So they win against the Rams. The Ra Oh, yeah, they win against the Rams. And now that pick went from four to ten. We have, Now it's at the 10th overall. Now, the remaining schedule for the Saints is pretty good in our favor. The only game... I could see them winning as of right now that's left is against the Falcons because the Falcons, you know, don't have Kyle Pitts, lost him for the season. I just don't trust that team at all as of right now. So they have the 49ers lost, Buccaneers lost, Falcons, I say probably a win, Browns loss, um, facing us, uh, loss, Panthers, I think is a loss. I think they can lose literally five out of the six games. And hopefully all of them. And I think, I think by that time, I think we'll have a. I think we'll still have a top ten. If it's not going top five, it's got to stay within the top ten. I mean, it's got to stay there. So, you know, just looking at the schedule, I think there's a lot more losses than wins. The Falcons game is really the only game I can see them really winning, realistically. 
The first game, the Falcons almost won. Falcons almost won. They won by a last-second field goal, uh, which really sucked. So uh, it, it's hurt us. It's not like Miami last year. It's not like the Miami Dolphins where they won eight, nine in a row, and they were like, oh, great. And then, they're, But it still worked out at the end of the day. We still got Devontae Smith. We traded Carson Wentz. It, it went great. Second-round conditional for a first-rounder. It still went well regardless. Um so uh, to, to play this good at your nine and one right now, and you you, you you still have a top ten pick, you have the tenth pick in the draft. They're losing the next. F- f- I mean, as long as these guys don't clinch, as long as the 49ers don't clinch, or something's going on, I haven't looked at the division in a while. You know, and they're not resting players. I think we should be fine. They should lose five out of the six. They should. I mean, I'm just saying they should, but we'll we'll see what happens. Um, that pick is gotta go top five again. I think it will by that point. If they lose, five, they lose five out of the six. I think I think it's a, still a top five pick. And depending on other teams, win or lose, there's gonna be some other teams that depend on that pick getting probably a a, a pick, uh, you know, lower, um, you know, higher, I should say, uh, and getting into, you know, I, who knows what you're gonna have. But I mean, to to play this well and and to make a trade and you know this past last off season, uh, this past off season, and uh, you've been fleecing the Saints nonstop and they're doing a really good job at it. Um, so that's pretty much it. So that's the news on the world Saints and the pick that we have, the first round pick. So other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, we went over uh, Marcus Brady. What do you guys think about him as a special consultant helping Gannon? Do you think this is a good move? Obviously, this is a very Nick Sirianni move to do. Um, you know, uh, Adama and Sue being that just vocal presence and not just by his words, but by his physicality. Just love it. And obviously the Saints. Uh, the Eagles' first-round pick is number 10th overall, which really sucks. Wish it was more than that. So, um, But other than that, you guys enjoy your holiday, enjoy your day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Shakes what up, follow us. Peace out, guys. Peace.